So what I want to talk to you about now is why your penis and your head are a bit like Superman and kryptonite. So I'm hoping most of you know that when Superman comes into contact or is in the very close proximity with kryptonite, uh, it makes him weak and floppy. So he isn't able to be strong and tough and fight the baddies. So when you get nervous and anxious, that's what's happening in, to your penis. The reason being is that when we evolved in you know, evolution long time ago, we had this thing called the flight and flight response. When we have that, which means when we get fearful or we get anxious or we get scared, we get a massive rush of adrenaline through our body. And you will all know that if someone comes up behind you and goes, boo, you'll feel this big rush of adrenaline and you'll feel a little bit on edge. The problem with adrenaline is, is that it is a vasoconstrictor. So in cavemen times, you're in, in the cave, you're getting you know down and funky with your partner and a big lion comes into the cave looking for his dinner. What would happen then is you'd get a fright and you'd get this rush of adrenaline through your body and your erection would go down and you'd jump up and run away because it's actually really difficult to run, I assume, with an erection. So that was a really valuable thing that we had and a really great way of us learning how, how to, our bodies learning a way of dealing with this problem so that we could run fast in the flight and flight response. It was a really successful tool that we've evolved. However, in modern times, we don't get chased by very many lions, but we still get that rush of adrenaline when we get scared or anxious or worried about something. So if, for instance, your penis fails you once or twice when you're with a partner, and then the next time you go to try and have sex and you feel you have that thought in your head, which is like, oh, I hope it doesn't go limp on me this time. I hope it works. As soon as you get that, you're going to get a rush of adrenaline. And adrenaline, as I said, is like kryptonite to Superman to erections. It just makes it go down. You get vasoconstriction, the blood goes out of your penis and you get a flaccid penis. So you're probably thinking, how on earth is she going to tell me that my penis is like Superman and kryptonite, but I hope that explains it. So this is why I've been saying all along that it is so important that we have our head in the game. Take the pressure off yourself. And sometimes it's as simple as if it fails a few times, you just need a little bit of extra help in the form of a medication or something for a while. And once you start trusting your body again and you get your confidence back, one day you'll forget that you needed that tablet and you won't need it anymore. Now that's not always the case, but definitely being anxious and worried about what's going to happen next is not going to help your erections. It's going to make them go down. So it is important that we can trust our body, trust ourselves and know that we're not going to get anxious at the moment and then create that whole physiological problem of it going down on its own. So we need to learn to trust ourselves again and we need to, you know, be able to get our penis to function so we can rely on it that it's going to do the right thing. So there you go. Your penis is like Superman and kryptonite after all. Thanks for listening. Hi, if you've enjoyed this YouTube video, we'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Subscribe to our channel, Restorative Sexual Health Clinic on YouTube, and please write a review and share it with your friends because the only way we can help more people is if more people come across this. And so it'd be great and we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel, then you'll get regular updates and we'd also love you to share it along your mates. Thanks very much.